Hello, friends. We just celebrated our game's birthday. Thank you so much for enjoying it. As promised, today we're airing the first episode of The Shooting Range in our new format. This occasion warrants something extra juicy to showcase, don't you think? How about a multi-role aircraft that can be put into two classes simultaneously? A fighter bomber and a strike aircraft. Please welcome the SU-34. Its looks are an instant giveaway of its relation to the Su-27 family, but this aircraft actually has quite a lot of differences from them. Among the most notable ones are the two-seat cockpit and a flattened nose that gave this machine the nickname Duckling. Besides that, the Su-34 comes with a whole heap of smaller but also important changes. A canard design, double-wheel landing gear, an improved airframe, a large tail section, and so on. Naturally, this couldn't help but affect the total mass, there's more than five extra tons here, and that's without fuel or armament. Two turbojet engines provide this plane with the highest total afterburning thrust in the game, around 25,000 kilogram forces. It still isn't enough to compensate for all that extra mass, though. Compared to specialized fighters, the Duckling's flight performance is markedly inferior. What's absolutely superior, though, is its air-to-air -air armament. The Su-34 can carry up to 10 various AAMs, including infrared-guided R-73s, various modifications of the R-27, and the active radar homing R-77s. While the engineers did a good job at preserving the fighter qualities in the Su-34, it's still more of a strike aircraft. The Duckling can lift up to 8 tons of payload. Its arsenal includes conventional bombs and rockets of various calibers, as well as many types of guided munitions. We'd like to highlight the newly added Grom glide bombs and the UPAB 1500 with satellite guidance. And of course, we simply have to mention one of the most efficient missiles, the Ha-38. Thanks to its sophisticated guidance systems, high speed, and long range, this missile is perfect against both enemy anti-air systems and tanks. So. Is the Su-34 a fighter bomber? A strike aircraft? It's up to you, really. In any case, we're sure its unique capabilities are going to find a good place in the high rank battles of War Thunder. Don't forget to check out Pages of History tomorrow at 4 p.m. GMT or noon Eastern Time. Subscribe and click the bell to make sure you never miss a video. Leave a like and share your impressions in the comments.